I will end uh, at uh, my recording on this computer. So uh, hello to everybody. Today is uh, our second uh, Zoom meeting, uh, flipped classroom in optimization course. And uh, today is year, uh, it's 3rd of April, 2023. This is a little bit outdated slide. And uh, uh, the topic of today's lecture uh, will be uh, derivatives of uh, multivariate functions. Uh, so uh, we, we, we have uh, interacted, uh, interacting uh, flipped classroom. And what usually happens in the beginning of the, of the class, I, I give a short quiz to students. But because uh, different reasons, I decided at this particular lecture, we will start uh, without quiz. So I, I will uh, present you very briefly some initial idea of uh, derivatives of multidimensional functions. And then we rather uh, fast, we will uh, move to uh, examples. OK. And uh, I uh, I assume that you watched uh, the lecture at home. This is our main working point. Uh, okay, and uh, like we told, we uh, we approach the uh, definition of derivatives via differential, and as the di differential we define is uh, like in old fashion like in 19th century or like he physicist like uh, to define differential if if i have a function for example here is one very function of one variable then uh, uh, i give some increment to x and i call it d dx and then i have increment to function which i called delta f but i can uh, also have a linear approximation of my function around x naught, uh, like tangent line. And the increment of this tangent line, I call this increment, I call dif differential. And the uh, main relation, the differential function, is a derivative of a function multiplied by, d by d dx. And uh, now I... Uh, I, I, I will extend it a little bit what you saw in the lecture to, to get more simple understanding of things. So uh, again, I have the, the same plot and uh, I will define this uh, linear uh, function, this tangent line as L of X. And uh, this is general expression of linear function which is written here, b, b plus c, c x minus x naught. And uh, of course, uh, when x is uh, equal to x naught, the, this expression is just b. And uh, you know, derivative of linear function uh, is if function is c x, the derivative is c. And the, the main assumption that we use if two functions uh, touch is each other, they have the same derivative. So my linear function L of X and my uh, original function F have the same derivative at, uh, at point X naught, and this is C. And uh, so I can say that differential of L is C multiplied by increment of X. And that's why it's uh, F prime multiplied uh, by uh, also by increment of x. Uh, this everything uh, it's uh, looks like tautology, uh, like uh, very trivial, but it helps us to move to multi-dimensional case, which I will do now. So in multi-dimensional case, here yeah, it's plot from the lecture. I assume we have here an example of two variables, and we have surface, and we have a linear. A function which is like tangent plane. Yeah. So, and uh, in multi-dimensional case, a linear function is uh, 
just a constant plus c transposed by increment of x. This is most uh, general expression for linear function. And again, we say that this linear function uh, has value b uh, and uh, equal to f of x naught when x is x naught. And uh, the expression of linear function, what is written here, it's actually sum of ci multiplied by xi. And uh, of course, uh, partial derivative of my linear function with respect to xi, just C, ci. And now in multi-dimension, I have the same assumption. If one uh, function touches another, then in every direction, if I do cross-section of this plot in any direction, I will see one dimensional function and its derivative will be a partial derivative. So in this, I conclude that partial derivative of my linear function is equal to partial derivative of the original function. And this is CI. But the increment of linear function is very easy. It's C transpose multiplied by increment of X, C transpose D, DX. And uh, I also told already that my vector C is a column of these uh, derivatives. And uh, C transpose X, it's like this uh, vector column multiplied by DX. And this is uh, what we had in the lecture. Uh, we call it so-called external definition of gradient. So differential of L, which is the same as differential of F, is just uh, a gradient transpose multiplied by DX, where gradient is this vector of partial derivative. And now maybe I will uh, switch to full view and ask, uh, this is good point to discuss because this view may be a little bit new for, for you. And uh, if you have uh, any question, any comments, uh, they are very welcome at this point. Um, I have one. Uh... In fact, what is the considerations uh, with using the differential technique, the, the differential technique, uh, versus the taking the derivative, like in the vector uh, form of partial derivatives? Yeah. You will see. You uh, you will see immediately in examples uh, which I will show. Then, uh, when you work with matrix vector expressions. It much easier. It much easier to uh, to show to get differential of linear approximation than go directly to partial derivatives. And this exactly what we will do today in in the class. Okay, it feels uh, risky. Is there cases that the uh, other cases where it doesn't work? Uh, Let's go to examples and then get back to your question. Okay. Uh, okay. Let me see what else I have. May, uh, I think, yes. I think I ready. I ready to go to the, oops, to shift a little bit go to the examples okay so here is here is uh, can i move it okay here's uh, our first example i i, I have a x and dimensional vector and i have a matrix a which maps from uh, uh, m by n matrix a uh, and i have a function scalar function of m variables which i called h and here is the expression of uh, f of x uh, all you know chain rule for one dimensional case it's uh, very trivial but we will see that uh, to write gradient uh, and hessian in our case We'll have some delicate points 
which we will get uh, with the help of differential. So uh, we, we will start wo working in the class now. And uh, my first question is uh, to develop a gradient of f of x with uh, respect to x. And because you start this uh, stuff first time, I will I will immediately start with some hints and then we'll let you go and develop the, the things. Uh, let's see whether my, my mm. slide work. Okay. He, uh, here's the, the way I, I, I want to go. I uh, denote this uh, variable a a x is a auxiliary variable u and uh, if i know du if i know differential of u i can know differential of h because it's a gradient transpose yes which we already had in the lecture differential of f f and h is the same in this case differential of f is a gradient of h with respect to u yeah i skip here argument u it's just the function itself h uh, transpose e, e, scalar product with du and uh, the thing uh, remains to understand that uh, if if u is ax it's linear it's not function it's ma mapping but still, uh, for linear functions and linear mappings, if I have uh, u is ax, then du is a multiplied by dx. We, we will show it later if you are in, interested. Ah, ah, actually, I did it. I did it for you here. You see? What is differential of u? It's uh, increment of this linear function, linear map in this case. It's a multiplied by x plus dx minus ax, and ax cancels, and we live with a dx. Okay, so now we have expression for du, uh, and uh, assume we, we know expression for gradient, and what uh, remains us to substitute uh, du uh, into here because what what is our goal our goal is to get linear expression where d, dx is its inner product of something with dx if we succeed to get this expression that immediately we will compute that this something is gradient transpose okay uh, so i leave you uh, to try to accomplish we are almost done and if you did what we usually do in our class we show solutions and uh, this year we have incentive uh, every student who shows solution to others uh, get uh, zero, zero three points to his final grade bonus okay you can start start working or any solution any for what if you are solve the problem in the class we will have many problems and then i i give you a possibility of screen share and you show us your solution okay you can start working or you if you have any questions any comments uh, for this yeah. first question usually things are all very trivial or completely people lose themselves but we will gradually gradually advance I, I yes, my, my question is what what is the problem here I, it seems we like solve we, we are almost solved uh, I invite you to write down and show us that it is uh, correct expression for gradient our goal is to get gradient of f of x with respect to x. We didn't write it down, but we are almost done. Michael, can I show the answer? Uh, you, you, you can raise your hand, and we know that, uh, how would say, Priel? How do you pronounce it? 
Okay, and we will, we will wait for a couple more hands. And then uh, Priel was first, we will give him priority to show solution. Let's wait for one or two more minutes. Let let uh, Eden and Dar and Noam to try or to ask questions if you find it unclear. Or you will, uh, let's just be quiet for one or two minutes. Uh, uh, Priel, I, I have a, a question. What is convenient? What is convenient to you to share your screen, or you want to write with if you have a pen, just on our slide? But I, I, I can uh, let you show. The, I, I give you. Uh, you you can try to share your screen. Maybe immediately will it will stop my screen sharing. Like uh, you know, I I will stop my. And sure. And Priel will show us his screen. Recording. Okay. Okay, so uh, uh, we got a DF. So DF to DX is a uh, uh, DF that is a gradient of H transpose DU. Uh, DU is ADX, so it's ADX uh, under DX, so its total uh, is H transpose uh, A. Yeah. Well, yes. Uh, and uh, you you see, yeah. Uh... You try to act as uh, we would act in a scalar case, yes? But uh, what do you do? You divide by dx. And remember that dx is a vector. So we don't have so right to divide by a vector. It's not very defined op operation. If I if I have a, some ve vector, what do you mean to divide it by a vector? Ah, yeah. okay. Okay, let's let let's stop your screen share at this point, and see whether there are more attempts, and then uh, I will I will help you if if uh, it will not go. Let me to checkboard. Is a uh... uh, I can try. Okay, please. Our lesson become interactive. This was our my goal <laughs> because I I lost it. Uh, it okay. Wait. Uh, okay. So um, it's connected. Wait. I will. Um, so first uh, we look at the df. Yes. Uh, which is the gradient of h transpose a. Uh, dx yes and then uh, uh, we try to estimate uh, to, to calculate a gradient of f yes which is oh i forgot that transpose uh, which is a gradient of h transpose uh, i uh, uh, let me try I want to learn Zoom. Let, let me pause my uh, will, uh, resume uh, recording. So this is very important line that you added now. 
it's very important. Uh, can you can you repeat it for? Or, or I will repeat it for the record. The second line df is uh, nabla f transpose dx. It's inner product of gradient with dx. And in the first line, we see that it's some vector transpose multiplied by d dx. Yes. So yes. So I I would conclude that what I see in the first line before d dx, I, I I need to learn how to annotate when uh, my when I am not. Uh, how do I annotate? Uh, just assume. Okay. So uh, I have this, we, we have this expression, yes? Uh, and we, we have another expression that uh, differential of F is gradient transpose multiplied by DX. Is uh, in this, I would conclude that gradient transpose is written here. I, I would, I will try with my pen. Mm -hmm. I, I, I would conclude that nabla f uh, transpose is uh, written here in the face nabla h transpose, yes? Uh, transpose uh, multiplied by a. But uh, I want a gradient. I don't want a gradient transpose. So what would be nabla f? Tell me, please. The transpose of the matrix uh, multiplication. Yes. So I, I assume that it would be A transpose, yes? Multiplied by nabla H. Uh, or uh, nabla H, sorry. Oh, yeah. And this is a right answer. So together we got to solution. Okay. And mm -hmm. uh, you have for bravery. Uh, we'll get a partial bonus. <laughs> oh, I thought, yeah, I got that. Thank you very much. No, no, it's Thank very you. important. You know, the, yeah. so, uh, I, I, I should clear, yes? Clear all drawings. Uh, I have a question. Yeah, oh, okay, yes, good. Uh, I, I get what he was doing, but wouldn't this also uh, require dividing by dx, even though you divided from both sides? Uh, let me return. Do, do I have still un, un, unattached? Mm -hmm. I don't divide by anything. I just compare those two expressions. Wow. Yes, but they have dx just, on both sides. So just a second, just a second. I need to annotate view and un, 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 annotate. I see that I have expression that some vector transpose multiplied by d, dx and the same d, df is another vector transpose multiplied by d, dx it's it's very imp Im, important question you you you're asking so those two results are the same for any d, dx for any d, 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 dx uh, inner product of this vector with dx is the same as inner product of this vector with dx. If, if I have such conditions, then I conclude that those two vectors are the same. I don't need to divide. Okay, I think I, I got around division because divide by vectors, we, we don't define such operation in linear algebra. In uh, MATLAB, you have element-wise division, but it's uh, it will not work here. It will not help you. Okay. Yeah. I think I think I understand. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. And thank you for mistakes and for comments because it's the, the, the best for listeners to get in, in into this topic. Okay. Uh, thank you, Yo. Yeah, I think you can stop your share. Okay. And then I will get back to my screen share. Share. Share screen. Uh, yeah. Okay. And for convenience, is my recording on? By the way, usually. Yes, it's 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 working. And what I uh, often do, my homework, I 
just sum, uh, summarized here what we did. Yes. Uh, okay. Now we have expression for gradient. And uh, we need to move further and try to get expression for Hessian. Uh, so, and uh, it's convenient for me to denote gradient as g, g of x instead of writing nublas because we will have dif differential of g. I don't want uh, to write d nabla something. Okay. I have this function uh, and this is gradient. And uh, what I know from definition of gradient from the lecture is that uh, uh, the um, differential of gradient is Hessian multiplied by the differential of argument. So I need to develop differential of this expression. How do I develop differential of this expression? This is linear. So if I have differential of nabla H, uh, the remaining is trivial. Uh, let me see whether I wrote something. Some... Yes, I wrote you some important reminder. So uh, I, I, again, we consider H as function of argument U. We don't think about AX mean time. Uh, what is differential of uh, its gradient? It's Hessian of H multiplied by DU. But we, we already know that DU is A multiplied by DX. Again, we can substitute and get the final expression. So if you have any questions, any comments, uh, you're welcome. Or otherwise, you can start working. And uh, okay. Again, just to be clear, what are we looking for this time? The we can, we are looking for Hessian of f, where f is this expression, and okay. then we assume that we. We know Hessian of H. If H is function of some variable U, we, are, we assume that we know the Hessian of H of U. Okay, it seems that Tomer uh, was the first, and then there was somebody who decided and then undecided. Uh, would you like to show us, Tomer? Yeah, yes, I can try uh, if I'm correct. I'm not sure. Okay, it's, it's good to try. It's even better to try than to be sure to be correct in this case. Okay. Uh, one second. Uh, so this uh, was given. And uh, next line, I uh, took uh, this and uh, put in the D instead of the DU. Uh, so we got the differential of uh, nabla age. Uh, it's it's and... good if you say equations with words. So so the differential oh. of nabla age is Hessian of age. Uh, Multiplied by a dx. Yes? Okay. Yes. Then we got, uh, I did the differential of the first uh, equation. So the uh, differential of g is uh, a transpose because it's a constant. So I uh, just leave it. Mm -hmm. And differential of uh, double a. 
and then I uh, took uh, this uh, expression and uh, put it here. And I got that the uh, difference of G is uh, A transpose, the Asian of age, uh, A, dx. And uh, then we know that this uh, might be the Asian that we're looking for. Yes, because we know general expression, the differential of gradient is Hessian multiplied by dx. Yes? Yes. So co comparing, it's, uh, it would be healthy uh, if somebody would would write uh, here or I may write or you uh, view options uh, annotate so we need to write uh, here general expression that dg is uh, h multiplied by dx yes so we yes. compare those two and conclude that our Hessian is here. And now you see the strengths of this approach. Yes? Mm -hmm. he, here, he, 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 like in scalar case, here is no analogy with scalar case to understand that on the left you should have A transport and on the right you have A. Scalar case will give you no hint on, on this solution. Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, Tommy, uh, thank you very much. Uh, any any question? Any uh, do, do, no no no. Do, uh, keep keep it on the screen for for a few seconds okay. uh, because uh, any question, any comment uh, on the side of other participants. Uh, yeah, you you are our ac active participant. Would what you would say about this? Uh, <laughs> it's clear enough yes yeah okay, okay. Tomer, uh, thank you very uh, very much you can stop no stop your share and uh, you know I, I i will uh it's i i think it's a good time to make a 10 10 minute break it's not good to start something for very few minutes Okay, so in uh, 5.24, uh, we are back. Ding. We resume recording after the break. And now, again, let's share screen. And this is what we had. I did my homework. And this was the Hessian of this uh, expression, H of AX. And uh, now, uh, next example. Next example. I have uh, such a chain function, which scalar chain rule you know, of course. But in uh, multivariable case, it, it may, uh, may have some delicate points. So I have a function scalar function of vector variable h from rn to r and scalar function of scalar variable phi r to r and i have this chain function uh, phi of h of x and of course uh, we will start with gradient and then we will move to Hessian. oops uh, so your mission will be to develop gradient, and I should be wow, I almost wrote answer. So again, so we need to develop gradient of f with respect to x, and of course we assume that gradient of h itself we know, and gradient of e itself we know, and again. We denote as usually this inner part of as u, and say the d df is p prime by du, du is so on so on. Now you almost got used to it and uh, just can start working. Or any 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 question, any comment? Okay, just start working.
Okay. Okay. Uh, we sh uh, showing uh, Prieli, yes? Yes. So, okay. uh, DF is a uh, D of uh, P of U. Yes. And uh, from definition, it's the scalar uh, product of the gradient of E with DU. And the uh, DU is D of H of X. If that from definition is this a scalar product of its uh, gradient with dx. Uh, so uh, this is du, and uh, we got that df is uh, equals uh, the a scalar product of dx dx with something. So uh, from sentence, the something is the transpose of. Uh, the transpose of uh, the gradient of f. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay, so wh what is gradient of f? This. No, it's its transpose. Ah, so the transpose of it is the... Uh, so what is gradient of f? So let me try to participate. Uh, because you did the uh, transpose of this expression, you actually did yeah. it. Uh, uh, did it right? Uh, we we only should uh, remember that uh, phi prime phi is a scalar, and phi prime is also scalar. Yes. Yeah, it's it can be here or here. It's not here, there. Or here. Yes, you 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 are right. Uh, actually, the final answer is is correct. Is completely correct. Let 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 us uh, let us uh, repeat uh, once more for clarity. Oh, you know, I I I will repeat it on my slide and. Uh, Thank you, thank you. Uh, or oh, any, any, any question, any comment of uh, other participants? Yes, just one small question. Uh, yes. Is this a D? What is this supposed to be? D, 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 D for differential. Okay. D, D X. Uh, okay. Okay. Thank you, Priel. You can stop your share. And you can down also your put down your hands. Uh, and let me share my screen and see what I have the same uh, recorded here. So uh, pay pay attention that you. U is a scalar here, yes? The external function is scalar function of scalar ar argument. So D DF is just phi prime multiplied by DU. In this particular case, we don't need inner product. It's just product of two scalars. And then uh, we tell that DU is a gradient of H multiplied by DX. And get final expression that you got. And now we will uh, advance to a little bit more challenging uh, part uh, to develop Hessian of, uh, of, this, of, the, of, the, of this function. But we, before we do it, I want uh, to get back to a very important part uh, of the lecture which uh, in previous years students uh, asked me uh, asked me to explain it once more in in more uh, with more arguments uh, uh just a second and here where, where is the, the the slide the the slide is here uh 
in in the lecture we we had a, an example if you remember if i have quadratic function uh x transpose ax what would be a gradient of this function and uh, i told in the lecture how to develop uh, differential if x come into some expression in several places and the statement is that uh, you use x as a constant in all places except of one one place and then except of the other place and if you in many places so on and add the result and this very important uh, property of differential but it came in the lecture without uh, without proof i would say and here is just uh, yeah, i wrote illustration for this uh assume that i have a function of two vector variables u and v and uh, want to develop a gradient so <clears throat> for this how i develop gradient i build linear approximation of my uh, function around some point where i am staying as uh, i assume i am staying at point with uh, where u is u naught and v is v naught around this uh, around this point most general linear function will look in this way is just some uh, function of some uh, value at this uh, point u not v v not lose some a multiplied by increment of u by by plus um, b transpose by increment of v i want to ask you whether this is clear because i i want to write this in explanation in clear form for future generations of students whether what i wrote here is uh, understandable or you yeah, i didn't huh do I what you want it's clear for you yes and uh no, I, it's, not. it's it's not no okay uh thank you very much for being uh, honest mm -hmm. it's very important in our lessons okay uh let me try to open it uh i just put annotation uh I may denote uh, long vector u and v as a long vector, uh, say, w. Uh, for, for, for example, I have w is e equal to such a long vector where I, some part of it is uh, components of vector u and some part of it are components of vector v. It's like several coordinates here and several coordinates here. Yeah, and uh, I, I, I want uh, to write down most most general function of W, L of W. It's actually not linear; it's a fine function. Yes, because it's have uh, also some uh, constant value. So uh, again, I can write some constant f uh, not plus some uh, a b c plus c transpose w do you agree that this is the most general way of writing just a definition you just made up or... no i i i ask i have a general linear function of a vector what is general linear function of a, a vector? It's uh, some constant plus some ci wi. This is an expression of general linear function. Yeah, what, what, is... what else can, can, can be in linear function? Okay, but c doesn't have any connection to f. No, it f just just have... arbitrary, just arbitrary. Yes, I'm in the middle of my story. 
and oh, okay. uh, now yeah, I can split uh, my vector C. Uh, I can split my vector. Wait, wait, let me write it here in compact form. C also has two vectors, A and B. You see now my way of thinking. This is yes. C. This is not arrow. This is letter C equal. C equal A, B. Now, uh, my most linear, most general uh, linear function of two vector variables, of course, uh, will be, uh, I just continue my writing, F naught plus A transpose U plus B transpose V. Now, you are with me? Are you with me? And yes. I see, and I see that it was needed for students. And thank you very much for this. And other students, should thank you. Okay. Now we have this uh, most general linear function, which is written here. Okay. And uh, I say if I give some increment du and dv, what will be increment df? From this expression, it's obvious, yes? It will be a transpose multiplied by du plus b transpose multiplied by dv. Now, I ask question, what if in this function, uh, example of this function, uh, by the way, it's here, yes? This is a particular example of this function. Uh, but but uh, I, I, I should uh, write, it's not this function. I, I should write, uh, for example, u transpose a v. Yes? Yes, but uh, x and x transpose are the same variable. It's not like u and v. Yes, this is exactly my point. Assume that u and v are also functions of x but trivial functions of x u of x is equal x and v of x is equal x and of course du is dx and dv is dx what is df this a transpose dx plus b transpose dx i just substituted du and dv with dx it uh, looks like very trivial, like uh, almost I don't say no thing, but it's very, very deep uh, things we uh, think we, we see here. We see that uh, I can assume do, that dx is constant in this part. Well, what does it mean constant? We, I, I don't want to use this term, yes? And then uh, differential will be just a transpose multiplied by dx. And then I can think about dx as constant here. So its increment is uh, zero. And uh, df will be here. And all differential together is sum of those two. And this is exactly what we did in the lecture. Why I did I show it? Because now we will show we will use it again in our uh, computation of Hessian. Uh, please uh, meditate uh, on this half a minute or whatever you need, and ask me questions. I have a question. Yes. Uh, but if we look uh, like a function uh, of R uh, one. And uh, in, uh, instead of a, a, we choose like uh, scalar one. Yes. We get uh, x in power of two. Yes. And then uh, it doesn't really work. Thank you very much. You're asking very good questions. And let me give you an example. What if uh, y is equal uh, x to the power x? Do you know how to compute uh, derivative? It's scalar, scalar. 
color case. Color case. Do you know how to compute derivative of such function? Uh, it's x uh, uh, times x in power of x minus one, maybe? I don't know. It's uh, like combination of two functions. It's like some constant, uh, I don't know. Uh, it's not our A. Let me use some other letter. Uh, a, B, C, D, F, H, I. Hmm. Okay, it's A, but it's not our A. It's uh, A to the power X. We need to differentiate and we need to differentiate. I I don't like this letter A. Uh, okay, it's alpha. Alpha in the power X. And this uh, X in the power beta. Yes? All you know to differentiate such function is from elementary calculus. Yes. But then you take this when alpha substitute alpha x and constant, take this uh, derivative, take this derivative and add them and get correct result. You can use it as a homework to check. People, uh, uh, usually in mathematics, people do other things. They take low logarithm and get around this problem. But this is uh, straight, uh, straightforward way to get the result. And by the way, uh, to to get um, to get many other interesting things in mathematics, I I, I will not continue now. But take uh, into account this uh, very nice example. Any question? Any comment? Okay, thank you, Yoho, for compliment. <laughs> uh, okay, now I will even save this slide, and I propose you 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 can do uh, also um, uh, screenshots, yes, because those are not standard, not parts of standard uh, video. Despite that, we will have it on video, but it's good to have screenshots as well. Okay, and now I need to clear, clear all drawings. Can I clear? I hope I can. And then I will stop annotation. And then we are prepared to the second part. Uh, Okay, now I want to develop Hessian. So we, we get gradient of this function, which was here, chain function, where inner function is a scalar function of vector variable and the outer scalar function of scalar variable. And we got expression for gradient. And here I wrote it again with arguments. Why do I need arguments? Because I need to calculate differential of gradient. So I need uh, arguments. <laughs> and now uh, we, we know that differential of gradient is Hessian multiplied by d, dx. So we need to develop a differential of this expression. And we see now that x is coming into places. It's come here. So it's a uh, nabla h is gradient of h. Uh, as function of x, and we know that it's the differential of this part at least. Yes, it will be Hessian of this thing multiplied by dx. And uh, you should you think about this x as constant and uh, vice versa. It's a little bit more challenging, and uh, you can start working. Or oh, any question, any comment about our next task? I don't see how this 
fits the form of what we discussed. Uh, okay, okay, let me start drawing. Thank you again for your question. Uh, I want to develop DG, yes? Yes. I. It's easier for me uh, to write this as DG1 plus DG2. Uh, DG1. No, but I, don't, I, I don't understand what the two G's are. As I don't, uh, I don't... Let me finish my sentence. Okay. Maybe it will become more clear. Okay. DG1, I will get if I assume that this X, uh, for example, this X is variable and this is a constant. This is constant. Okay. Uh, if this X is constant, uh, then uh, all this H is constant. Yes, this is like constant vector. Okay. And what uh, remains is uh, to get differential of this inner H. And by the way, this is phi prime. It's not double prime. It's phi prime. Mm -hmm. And get differential of this and multiply it by this constant vector. And this will give you DG1. Okay. This term. And then vice versa. You think uh, I should uh, undo? You sh think about this x is constant, yes? E and if I think about this x is constant, then all this expression. Uh, okay, I think I get it. Okay, uh, is a constant. What is what it is? By the way, it's color or it is a vector. Is color yes? Phi prime of something. Yes. This is just a number, yes. And uh, you need to only develop this uh, this uh, differential, and then I add them together, and this will give you whole differential, and then the case. It's a little bit more work, but start working and ask questions. Ask questions on, on the way. Uh, I I may stop my uh, video and uh, pause uh, recording, but uh, feel free to talk to me. Okay, I resume my recording, and uh, Eden is showing us. Oh. Do you see what, what I share? Yes. Yes. Okay, so I calculate the derivative. So for the first expression, I uh, assign v to be uh, h, h of, of x. Then I calculate the derivative of uh, v uh, to x. So it's uh, uh, transpose. Uh, just a second uh, about terminology. In, okay. in our course, derivative and differential Differential. The same. Despite yes. in other parts of mathematics, <laughs> they are uh, often exchangeable, but here is very delicate point. Differential, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, and then I uh, return to my expression and I replace uh, what I had wrote here. And uh, can you tell uh, in 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 words in in words to to people like you are teaching. Oh. Okay, uh, so a uh, differential of uh, phi tag phi, phi tag of HLX, it's differential of phi tag of V because I uh, put hmm. here V HLX of X, sorry. And uh, it's uh, phi tag M V DV. And then I replace uh, V being HL, H of X a gradient of h x transpose dx and then i uh, replace in the in the in my expression here and it's uh, from here and uh, yes and because it's uh, commutative i just uh, 
reinverse the, the order? Just a second. Uh, which one is commutative? Uh, wait. H R. Yeah, very delicate point with commutation of uh, <laughs> matrix vector expressions. Uh, 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 From here to here, I uh, I uh, can yes the fit uh, the game the game HLX gradient of HLX. So phi phi double prime. Uh, I translate yes. from from Hebrew. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. <laughs> you learn English as well. Phi double prime is a number. Yes. Yes. Phi is a scalar function. Okay, so. Uh, so I reverse here the order uh, of uh, the gradient uh, phi double tag uh, gradient transpose. I put it to I put it together. You see the uh, differential x here. Okay. I put in the same uh, parenthesis. I put it together and then I calculate the Hessian of uh, the function. Okay. So your your final expression uh, looks looks nice. So uh, what is um, I I need to annotate uh, where is just a second. Okay. Uh, what is written here? Tell me, please. It's a column vector by its transpose, by row, yes? Yes. So wh what is this? Is this matrix, yes? Yes. So this is a rank one. It's just for other students. Yeah, I, I hope that you know it, of course. And uh, what is here? It's also matrix. And by and yeah. I, I just check, do sanity check. Yes, mm -hmm. that it uh, it looks uh, reasonable. Any any questions and any comments uh, from other students because some commutations were. I think. Uh, oh, it might be commutative, but I think uh, over on. I think this should be uh, the other way around. I think the transpose should be on the left, I think. Uh, let's think together. We, 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 we want to have matrix, yes? Because Hessian is matrix. If I yeah. have a, uh, and uh, by, by convention, all vectors in our course are columns. By the way, this convention may be different in other parts of mathematics, but in optimization, it's very convenient to write down vectors as columns, also gradients. Okay, so if if it would be like you are suggested, it would be uh, gradient transform would be row by column. What is row by column? It's scalar. Yes. Yeah, it, no, no, I get it. I get it. Uh, but so over here it's the transpose to the left and the regular one to the right and i don't get where the swap was yes because this it, is... it was that way because it's it's that way here and it's inserted over there you know so where uh, very delicate point and you 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 actually catched it here, here here's some delicate point with uh, linear al uh, with uh, linear algebra when uh, can we uh, swap things and when we can uh, when we cannot uh, uh, le uh, maybe uh, uh, the swap was here i just don't know why yeah yeah, yeah yes uh, uh, because it's it's not commutative i can do gonna... I don't think uh, you can swap it like this. F, 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 double prime, phi double prime is a scalar, and also a, a gradient of h transpose dx is a scalar. 
No, it's not a scalar. The gradient transpose it's a vector. And the gradient is also transpose a vector. Transpose time the uh, a row vector yeah. times the... Uh, scalar, the first expression is a scalar and after she swaps it, it's a matrix now. So you can do the swap. I mean, it, it can't be it that you can swap however you like, because if you can swap however you like, then you can swap it so it ends up swapped here at the end and then it doesn't make sense. It can't be to just, you know, it's a scalar, so I can swap it however I want. Okay. Uh, what I would suggest, it's, uh, we, we, we come to the very general um, question. I, I, I will put it in this this way it's uh those le letters are not uh, related to to ours if i have a uh, vector x and uh, i have uh, some other vector i uh, say say example y transpose and i have some scalar alpha uh, can I put parentheses anywhere? Hmm. I I would say uh, yes. Which which yes. one? Can put parentheses, but I don't yes. think it's the same case. Yes. Uh, let me try to invent. Uh, I I hope that I I will be able to do it relatively fast. If, if I have a quadratic. So uh, uh, the situation in this way, I have a row ve vector, then column ve vector. This will give me scalar, yes? The, yes. the product, I drawing like pictogram. And then I, I will have another column vector. Okay, very good. So I, I have such e expression where everything is legal. Yes, I can pr product column by row is matrix. Yes, yes. and again by column is uh, very legal. So I can put parentheses here, or otherwise I I would be able to put parentheses here, and everything would 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 work. But uh, if 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 I try other other thing, if I try to put a row vector and column vector and say this is a scalar, yes, mm -hmm. and uh, multiply it by column uh, by one more column vector. In this situation, I cannot move parentheses, yes, because I, if I will move parentheses in this way, I, I will have product of two columns, column vectors, which is uh, illegal in uh, linear algebra. So what is the story? And in, line, in linear algebra, in general, we know if I have legal, any legal uh, expression of matrices uh, and vectors are particular cases of matrices, yes, A, B, C, I can put parentheses anywhere. Here is a very de delicate story with scalar. If I want to look on scalar as a one by one matrix, yes, and uh, use the matrix vector multiplication rules, I only can use, I, I use it on, on, the, on, the, on the left. I can only use uh, column by scalar as legal matrix vector product because uh, you you know row by columns is one element row by one one element columns and everything works okay but if and i you are saying why this is okay what uh, in the solution yeah like yes this, you, like you, this, you should think like about this point which i described here in general and just Re rewrite all expression in the order that only legal products of uh, vectors with scalars will be the scalar should be uh, bottom line 
the scalar should be on the right from yes, the I, I do, but you know, doing something else but this isn't, but if you this want is, to uh, do parentheses in the expression but this isn't the problem no here. it's not she had a row a row a full column and then she moved the column to the left so she had yeah, column then that's the row. issue it's but, not it's not an issue of parentheses it's an issue of uh moving it to the okay so we received the recording and need to explain neta you explain us okay so uh the point is we need uh in the end for it to be in this form of uh column vector times row vector to make it equal to a matrix uh and for that we need the transpose to be on the right here over here it's on the left we need to move it over here the reason we can do that is because this expression is uh, a scalar this is uh a row vector times a column vector. This is a scalar. So we can uh, move it around to the right. Only after we move it to the right, which we need uh, to put the dx on the right, only then can we open the parentheses, uh, bring it to the form we want, and continue to do all of this rearrangement we have here. OK, and I Maybe will that was too fast. I I will add to Neta. We can move parentheses if we have operations with with scalar and uh, vector column. Uh, scalar must stay on the right from vector column. Then it's legal matrix vector operation when scalar is one by one matrix. And then if uh, you have something else here, they can continue in this way. Just saying. So you, you can put your parentheses or in this way or in some other way, and everything will work uh, like usual matrix expression. Okay. The, let me pause. Uh, okay. Stop and... Uh... Can I stop sharing? Yes. You, you, you can stop sharing and I will pause my... Okay, and then uh, for the next time, uh, you should uh, watch uh, lectures on uh, convexity, convex uh, uh, functions and set and uh, other stuff we, we will add. And again, uh, uh, I always uh, reserve uh, possibility to uh, put quiz, short quiz, in the beginning of the lecture of, of our fleet classroom to be sure that Students really watch it at home. Thank you. So, are you going to watch for Uh But what oh, about in, the Jacob? In week three, yeah. you should. In week Can three, I ask? Uh, just a second. In week three, you should uh, watch convexity and uh, optimality conditions. Every, everything till uh, one dimensional optimization. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you, Priya. It it was very good question. If if I have a product of two functions, whether I use a rule of multiplication, you can say. But uh, uh, what would you say? Again, uh, I should share screen. Uh, some ah, let's do whiteboard. Uh, I hope I resumed my recording. I will, yes, yes. I resumed it. Uh, again, uh, uh, if if I have this example, which we had in the lecture, uh, what your rule of multiplication would say you? Uh, I don't know. You don't know. That's why we are learning more general rule. If X is entering several times, then think about all others as constant and only one as variable and move one by one. The second is variable and all others are constant and sum up. And this is very general principle when uh, you have, uh, I don't know, X transpose Y, uh, or I, I, I don't know, F of X uh, multiplied by G of X, yes? It will be only particular case. So you don't need to remember this particular case. 
because uh, sometimes it's okay uh, and sometimes it may leave the question open. So the, this statement, but we uh, showed that even in scalar uh, situation, sorry, x in the power x, when you want to differentiate, you have no multiplication, but this rule is working. It's uh, much more general, very convenient, very easy to remember. Uh, every time you take the differential of uh, one uh, function and the, the others uh, remain uh, the same, and they, you sum up all the... Yes, yes. Okay. The, the others are constant. You you think about like, then you multiply by constant. If you compute dif differential when the first term is variable, if uh, the first term is va variable, this is just constant. But you must multiply by this constant when you uh, differentiate with re respect to first x. Okay. And then uh, vice versa. Okay, and it's good. We gradually moved uh, to reception hours and our uh, reception hours are also are recording, uh, recorded because we are free to ask uh, general mathematical questions. And then if you have personal questions, in the end, we will discuss this as well without record. Michael, is there a question about what you said to see the next week? In the next week, we didn't see Jacob and Jan and the whole series. Uh, okay, the, the question was about uh, Jak Jacobian. The, the thing is that we, the Jacobian is very important lecture and you will have a homework uh, on uh, optimization with neural network and there Jacobian is used and you will be suggested to watch this Jacobian and uh, use it in the homework. Unfortunately, we don't have uh, time in class to discuss this as a, in flipped classroom, maybe with some additional lesson. But it's good, I agree with you. It's good for you to watch it now when your head is fresh, if you want, it's mm -hmm. uh, voluntary. If you, are, you, okay. if you are feel overloaded with this stuff which we had today, it's okay not to watch it now. But if you are, you are thirsty, watch it now and then you will watch it again when uh, we will come with homework to optimization of neural network okay and thank you very much and if we watch it on youtube so uh, lecture four five convex sets and functions and uh and uh ah, local and the global and minimum yes yes global and local minimum and optimality conditions i don't remember it was part of Okay. And, and the first lecture uh, from the previous uh, week, it was about uh, what? Uh, so the, the, the first uh, lecture was uh, very introductory. It was 1A and 1B in the lecture list, okay. or, or it was uh, week one on course error. It was very introductory, just give you a refresh of linear algebra. Again, unfortunately, we don't have time to discuss it, but uh, within the reception hours, feel free to ask any questions about those okay. because uh, they are important. And also about Jacobian, by the way, if you will have question about J. Jacobian. It's okay. good to ask on uh, reception hours. And I hope that Netanel, uh, the assist, uh, assistant, he will also have a reception hours. So you can talk to him as well. Okay, thank you. Ben. Oh, pleasure. Okay. So let's uh, stop. Pause recording. <laughs>